Good morning guys, so welcome to today's video. It's the Kraken on, honestly, like 6 a.m., 6.30. It's actually amazing how many times I wake up and I see like snacks cut up and ready for our pets. And how many times I prepare snacks every morning before I go down to the barn. I'm gonna give, start giving um, my milker there a snack each time after I milk her because I appreciate her so much letting me milk her. She could be such a brat, but she's not. She's so accommodating. She gives us milk that is amazing. Like goat's milk is amazing. And I was a skeptic going in, but I love it. Today she's getting an apple. Today I'm gonna break out the milking machine and try it for the first real time on, on Blossom. Welcome to day 272 of rain. Obviously I'm being sarcastic. It is cloudy and rainy, but it feels glorious out, outside. Like even though it's rainy and gloomy, it just feels amazing because it's not cold. <laughs> it's not super cold. So I'm gonna see if Blossom notices there's a treat in there for her. Well, hello, Miss Blossom. Hi, how'd you go? Your food is coming. Did she see? Oops, did she see? Oh, she does it for me. Up, oh, there you go. There's an apple, she likes it. <laughs> I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing. It's actually really difficult for me to tell when this is done. So I stopped it after like a long time and I don't think I got a lot of milk in here. Yeah, so I start, stopped it too soon. Clearly it's not any faster than hand pumping. Then I finished pumping by hand. So that was my first time using it like actually using it with both. I tried it before on her when I was just pumping out one side when Winston was a newborn baby. Um, I like it. I think once she gets used to it, she did really well. Once she gets used to it, I could attach it to her and walk away and do other things. So it'll be super useful. But in terms of, do you need to have a pump? Um, I don't think so. I think I'm more efficient and effective with hand pumping but it's handy to have it, especially when I'm gonna be pumping, um, milking a bunch of doughs soon. So uh, this is how much milk I got today. I actually have so much milk, you guys. Right now I'm getting this three times a day and I have a fridge full of milk. It is a lot later. <laughs> I'm so stressed. Ah, okay, so trying a new thing with the pig today. I put her collar on her and it, it worked, except for then she broke the collar today. She throws such a fit to get it on. Once it's on, she's really good, but the fit she throws kills me. Like, I had to carry her down to the goat barn today and she screeches so loud, I don't even know why the police don't show up thinking that we killed somebody. She screeches so loud, it's awful. So today we're gonna try her out in this area and see what happens. We put her in the boy area and she can still get to the horse barn. So today, I'm gonna see what happens. I think she'll still be able to get to the horse barn. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. It is honestly windy, cold, wet, awful. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Uh-oh, oh, shoot. I thought you locked it. Three goats got in. Oh, figures it's you. <laughs> The mama and my black babies. <laughs> They're so cute. Better to late than never. You know we could do better. So take a chance and run with me. Everywhere we go, we we'll turn to paradise. All I know is that I need you in my life. Let me show you how.
Yes, my girl. You only get so many trips around the sun. I honestly find milking really peaceful. I made mozzarella cheese today with some of my milk. I find milking really peaceful. I find the noise of the pig really annoying when she's upset. She's really good all the other time. The only time she's upset is when I carry her. I have to carry her because it's the only way I can get her from A to B and because she's she, we don't live with like a fence behind us, I have to keep her safe. It's honestly horrible. But she's out there looking for food and she's braving the goats. Pigs are so, like, she's so agreeable. All animals get along with her. Like, no animals are bothered by her. Although the goats are probably the worst. Anyway, Sylvia and I do our chores a little bit later in the morning. We do it after school because I have to come down early in the morning and milk, but I still want to be with Gabby before she goes to school because I don't want to not see her before she goes to school. So I have to come down at, like, 6.30 and then get back up there before she leaves. And then we just start school. Oh. And then we just start school and then we come down and we do the chores a little bit later and it's been working for us. So that is what we're doing now. Getting the chores done. We are alternating indoor outdoor chores. So today, so if he's doing the outdoor chores, we're trying to get all this stuff picked up still. We're still working. Yes, I hear you. You're really cute. You guys only have two more weeks left with mom. Although I don't think that they're even close to 20 pounds, but I mean, maybe they are. The brown boys are for sure 20 pounds. I'm gonna weigh them though. You're so cute. Why are you looking at me like that? Isn't he so cute? Rosie just got her pre-birth shots. I think she needs to gain more weight. She like, eats all day. She does eat all day, but she's the low man on the totem pole, so she always has to hide to eat. So that's the udder. It actually is bigger than, you can't see it over there, bigger than uh, Blossom's was, right? It's like droopier. Like it, it looks a lot like her mom's. And Blossom's looks like her uh, She's like, don't look at my udder. But yeah, it's like not, it's not super tiny. It's, it's pretty cute. It's not big at all. It's tiny. She's gonna have one baby. She gets mad at you and kicks you out. Goes for my hand. <laughs> one baby, one boy, one buckling. I'm calling it now. So I'm used to seeing everything. Like I'm used to dreaming everything. I'm used to figuring things out. I have not seen this go, what she's got in there. Maybe she doesn't have any. I mean, that. actually, she feels kind of big and she feels pretty tight. She has a couple weeks left. We just gave her her shot. That's her food side. This is her baby. This is her food side. This is her baby side. But the problem is when you have more than one baby, it can't just fit in your baby side. It well, has she to... only has one. I know. I think so too. I feel like I haven't been wrong yet. Let's see. But she's not very, she's not very, oh, there's a big baby in there kicking around. Holy moly. You want to feel it? No. It's a boy. It's a buckling. It's one buckling. It's fine. Wow, you should feel his little feet. He's adorable. I, actually, he's way more active than the other ones. It's a boy for sure. Because well, there's only one in there. Yeah, do you want to feel it? Yeah. It's insane. It's big. She's a big goat though. All right, so. I don't know. Maybe there's two. It's either one big. It's big. It's moving around like crazy. It's, it's a weird. big baby. Because the hair on their butt is shedding out first. Yeah, it's one baby. It's one baby. I have people ask me all the time, like, do you hope it's a girl this time? I don't care because. Let's pay her call. Well, I'd like to see the udder of a girl from our from our buck. Don't do that yet. Oh, sorry. Like he came from really nice lines. So I'd like to see an udder from that buck, but if I don't get to see it. Anyway, I don't care if we have a girl because I wanna go to registered. I don't wanna keep any more goats that aren't registered. Good girl. Oh, that that's is her your own baby. mother. 
Be nice to your own baby. Just leave her. She seems I know. I feel like I'm going to leave my pig down here for just a couple hours. She seems warm enough because she's out there. If she's cold, she comes running back. All right, let's leave her for a couple Where hours. My finger? <laughs> Sophie got her finger bit <laughs> and blood. <laughs> this one drew blood. Well, because I was distracted because my fingers were like this and they were both chomping on different fingers because that's what they do. <laughs> she likes to let them suck on her fingers, so that's her I own don't. problem. You do. They do it by themselves. Oh, you are so cute. He's like, wait, what did I do? I love black goats with blue eyes. He is just so stinking cute. I'm going to make the executive decision to leave our baby pig down here. I'm going to leave the pig down here, you guys. I love how I clean everything off and then come back. You did that yourself. That place has been there for weeks, months, years. Oh, and then people just leave their stuff there and mess it up on me. Anyway, I'm going to leave the pig down here for a couple hours. I'm going to just keep checking on her with the camera. And then if she looks like she's cold or scared or any of those things, I'll come down and get her. But she gets bored in the house. She wants to be out there scavenging for food. Go she ahead. She eats everything she sees. She chews every cord we have. And I don't want to leave her in a crate because that's no fun for her either. Like she needs to be able to be a pig and it's not like freezing <laughs> out. Look at this cute little Uh oh, thing. she's gone. No, she's pushing a bucket over. She's pushing a bucket. Oh, she, oh, I have to put her water. Wait. He's so cute. She looked happy, she looked happy, she looked happy. And then the minute I went out to give her water, she was chasing me like she wanted to come with me. So I brought her back. I just, I don't know. She, see, she chases me and she tells me when she needs something. So as soon as I went out there, she was like, I'm coming with you and that's the end of it. I feel like we stayed home the whole last two weeks while it's been raining. It's been raining for two weeks. Actually two weeks, it's been raining. Uh, but we're headed out now. We have a crazy busy weekend. We have like two, not one, but two auctions to go to, animal auctions. One of them may or may not be related to horses. Gabby has her last two hour riding, driving lesson uh, before she does the test. So that's exciting. Anyway, we're headed out, just Sam and I. The girls are both home. We are, we are actually going to get something, so uh, you guys know that it's spring and we're looking for the rest of the animals that we want for this season. Like, it's, it's a hobby for us. It's stuff that we like to do. What? Not a hobby for you? Is that what you were saying? Chores. It's lots of chores. <laughs> Just lots of chores, but in the summer, chores is not that bad. I've been looking and looking and looking. We have not been having very much luck. We want to get at least one or two more call ducks. We want to get a couple of females. Just two would be fine for us. But we haven't had a lot of luck finding stuff. So we found a couple more guineas, which we were looking for guineas. And today I'm picking up something that I want that's just for me. I've been so selfish since we moved to this farm. Like, I never am selfish about what getting the things that I want all the time. Like, I bought myself a goat. I am buying myself these things. And it's not Sophie's thing, it's not Sam's thing. This is going to be for me. So I'm going to show you. We're going to take you guys along with us. And I'm going to show you when I get them. Okay, so we picked it up. I got it. I'm excited. I've told you guys before that I wanted this. I'm going to show you right now. Get excited. Dun, da, da. I got turkey eggs, you guys. Six of them. Six of their $10 each. She only sells them in, in sixes and half a dozen. They're heavy. They're cute, though. So anyways, they're turkey eggs. I'm excited. I have the incubator all ready to go. Sam says they're expensive. I don't think they're expensive. If I was gonna buy a turkey, like a little baby turkey, I forget what they're called. What are they called? Okay, but here's, do the math. Hope do the math. At least one. So one turkey, baby turkey, like a day old turkey. What's it called? I forget what they're called, babies. Anyways, if I was gonna buy one, it would be $25 at the lowest price. So $25. So uh, this would cost $150. These six, six eggs would cost $150. Okay, if they don't hatch. Then it's expensive, $10. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, then I'll be out $10 versus. I hope at least two turkeys come out of it. No, I wanna hope that 
at least five turkeys come out of them. But anyways, so these these eggs are a heritage breed. They are a bit slower growing than other breeds. And if I keep eggs back from the turkeys when they're older, if I keep their eggs back and I hatch more turkey, like and I keep keep replenishing our turkeys so that we have turkeys every year, then it's a cheap $60. Like it's cheap versus buying actual turkeys. If I bought like a big huge turkey, like the turkeys are actually so expensive. All fowl right now are so expensive. 60 bucks, I think it's worth it. I hope they hatch. I'm gonna do my best. But turkeys are something that I've really wanted to do for a long time. Turkeys are really, really sweet. Like you guys know how I told you, pigs are bond really, really close to their owner. Turkeys are the same. They bond really, really close. As long as you spend a lot of time with them, they really bond with you. And I love animals like that. So anyway, this is gonna be our first turkeys ever. I've never had turkeys before. I've like had family members who have had turkeys, but I've never had turkeys before. So this is my little pet project. Wish me luck. Don't you know that you're beautiful?